Yo, man, we back with another video. Y'all been asking for it, man. This is how Gojo and Sukana ran a generational fade, man. I got some beautiful ladies. Go ahead, introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at. Hi, this is JK Royality. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. JK Royal ITY. Hi, I'm Kayla. Y'all can find me on TikTok. Instagram and Snapchat under Kayla Van Brakel. Hey, what's up? I'm Opal. You can find me on TikTok at Crushed Opal or Instagram Crushed.Opal. Hey, y'all. I am my honey. Flex. Flex. And you can find me. I'm on whatever you're on. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. It's to be animated to start them? Nah, not over here. Shout out my dog for all the help on this one. He the GOAT. So we here. Gojo versus Sakuna. This got to be one of the most anticipated fights within the last five years. But before we hop into it, I got to paint the picture for y'all. And it starts with Sakuna straight violating. Oh. Got my dog orbiting around the planet. This man is furious. <laughs> my man's moving vile for no reason. Straight took a chomp off. Off Angel, like we biting shorties now. So after Sukuna was running the clean ones with Maki and Itadori, Gojo pulls up and he's like, "Fine, I'll run it." He asked them to wait till the 24th of December. He had everyone dapping him up in the locker room. He was ready to drop Sukuna off. But before we even get to that, pause, rewind, zoom in, closer, closer, bro. When did he get a fade? I know somebody's lying to me because ever since his brother died. This man has never seen a barber rocking that Drake and Josh <laughs> ass hairdo. See, this is why I hate you shrinky dink ass light skins. Nothing about y'all can be done like a civil human being. Like, yes, bruh, I see your jawline. And yes, nigga, I see your eyes. Like, damn. Now we get to the actual fight. We get Gojo pulling up clean as hell. This the drip straight from the nomads in Egypt. You put that shit on, twin. And Gojo starts this off holding back nothing. And he starts revving up the hollow purple off. Rip and he booms that shit straight to Sakuna's face. And once I saw this, I already know Gojo was coming on a different timing. Using the move that boomed the father of the person you're fighting. Like I know it's not actually him, but off rip, me personally, I ain't taking that shit at all. All it does no. is graze Sakuna and then Gojo lands. And these two start trash talking. Look at that, Sakuna. I guess I'm the challenger. One thing you're gonna see, even though these are the strongest sorcerers in history, they cannot roast to save their life. Put them in a middle school lunch table i promise they're not surviving because you got sakuna talking about some gojo you're just a fish on the cutting board i'm gonna start by ripping your scales like this nigga been staring at a wall for eight centuries but can't think of something better than fish you're trash they about to get the boxing but gojo says this i don't even know why you wearing megumi's face i'm not gonna hold back because he looks like a nigga i packed up like i told you that shit was intentional and these boys get to scrapping i'm telling okay. you they're using telepathy and nothing but straight hand. Gojo throwing straight highways at this man. Only for Sakuna to cleave out that hole and rush right at him. Had these niggas scaling buildings like it's Sonic Adventure. Let me get this scene right here where they're charging <laughs> up a punch in between a falling door. Only for the punch to decimate the entire area. Nah, mm -hmm. these niggas moving different. But I'm still watching this kind of concern because y'all, it's December. Y'all about to clip my nigga Rudolph for collateral. And while this is all going on, we get this straight yapathon. Like I'm telling you, 12 straight pages just me, 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 me. Like, can you shut up? But I can't hold you. It's kind of needed because even I have to yap for this video. Because this isn't the type of video where I can just sit down and niggify the fight. I have to actually explain what's going on. Because not only is this fight kind of confusing, while they're boxing, they break every single rule Jujutsu Kaisen has ever put into place. We literally got characters in the series themselves. What? Okay, yeah, that's what it's called, Jujutsu Kaisen. Y'all seen that before? Yeah, I'm watching Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> Just heard of it. Just heard of it. My honey smash like what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't know about it, but I know I've been watching it a little bit with these reactions, so Hey, <laughs> y'all put on no count. See these niggas box talking about something. Yeah. Oh, damn. I didn't even know we could do that. I like, won't beat the ass. Y'all made me read all this for no reason. She crazy, but hey. Right. Gonna get right into it, man. Yo, DJ, play my 
Gojo and Sukuna hit domain expansion and their domains equal out. Normally when this happens, whoever takes the most amount of damage and has to heal themselves will have to drop their domain in order to do so, allowing for their sure hit effect, I'm not gonna explain this shit put on the screen, to hit the other domain user. And that's what should happen. But like I told y'all, we watching two cheat code ass niggas because Sukuna sees his barrier expansion, but because his domain is larger than Gojo's, okay. it breaks his from the outside, allowing so Gojo- like power move, super move or something called uh domain expansion okay so they both can do it now okay they get affected by the domain and also kuna was feeling himself crazy he was sitting there talking about something come on man that's too easy Ojo immediately got blicked with cleaving this mantle. Got my dog looking blacker than me. This is crazy. Gojo tries to back up and Sukuna chasing him down with some straight pressure. This that Hall of Fame chase down. Only for Gojo to hit simple domain so he could heal himself. Like, hold up. Something ain't right. Because Itadori sees this and he's like, bro, Gojo can't do that. And I'm like, that's what I'm saying. If your name is Gojo or Sukuna, it do not matter. The cook regardless. Despite Sukuna's domain still being able to slice this nigga up, Gojo stops healing himself. Got my boy running around like he smashed Mei, Mei on her, period. He leg locks Sukuna and then he pulls up on him just like this. Like, first off, weird. Hesty as hell too. What's up with you niggas? But I can't lie, you look clean here. He hits Sukuna with the red dot beam to the face slamming him right into his shrine and then he's out here hitting this cold ass pose afterwards like bro i know he swear he tough this ain't getting animated for another five years you're getting no edits anytime soon but normally what gojo just did wouldn't be possible and then here i gotta go with another explanation oh my oh, god, god corny. corny play the music basically every single time one of these characters uses a domain expansion it gets a certain part of their brain fried like how y'all's brains be on a normal basis <laughs> Also, now y'all booing me? I feel too late, man, nigga. Gojo, instead of healing his body, uses his healing technique to heal the part of his brain that's fried. So he could be able to use hey. a technique like red again. Yeah, that brain be fried. You smell that green. Right. <laughs> 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 brain be fried. You know what I'm saying? Be walking around. Again. And then we got Yuta on the sidelines really talking about some, bruh, you can do that? And you got Gojo and Sakuna moving crazy. They out here creating new rules on the spot. They know everyone after this fight we taking their whole flow. They created the new wave. After this, Gojo activates his domain again. This time, he expands the range so far it wraps around Sukuna, and he makes the barrier around them extremely tiny. And again, this shit ain't possible. But in the words of Jinxie, THAT MOTHERFUCKER'S CHEATING! As Gojo was stuck in the prison realm, he could actually imagine people inside such a small space. Because if you can't imagine it, the barrier will not shrink. Domains are basically where imaginations come to life. They on that Disney shit. When their barriers break again, Gojo was somehow able to injure Sukuna in that short window of time. And this is where Gojo begins to apply pressure because he wants to injure Sukuna to the point where he can no longer maintain his domain. And he gotta do it as fast as possible. And he's really putting hands on bro because this page right here, man, he got Fraud Kuna shivering. Now they hit domain expansion and then this is where they hit that anime shit. Now they do it again at the same time except because Sukuna took so much damage, he was a millisecond slower than Gojo. Gojo, and he immediately gets sprayed with unlimited void. Y'all already know what this dude, this nigga is cooked. Gojo's looking at us like, nah, don't eat, nigga. The dish ain't finished. I still gotta cook his heart, his lungs, his liver. I want this nigga to taste death. I just start Dang. getting geeked while reading. This nigga is preaching. Let him cook. This man was about to put Sukuna on some v loan, and then this nigga shows up. Baharaga spawns and I proceed to close the manga. Now that I'm finally talking about <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen, I can finally speak on this. I know y'all love your Jujutsu Kaisen jumping. But me as a certified boxing commentator, I just watched this and I'm like, what happened to the game I loved? Because the moment JJK started jumping niggas like it's Atlanta, everybody want to jump now. <laughs> Especially in this show, not a single nigga could run a solid fade. Y'all niggas trash. I love the boxing, but the moment they step out, the series they get in dog walked let that nigga told you get it with one fang over fang 
promise you he's folding. But anyways, this nigga Maharaga's OP. The moment you hit him with a technique three to four times, he's gonna laugh it off and then completely invalidate it. And due to this really long explanation that I'm gonna put on the screen, this nigga Sakuna is such a demon. He used Megumi's soul to get hit by Unlimited Void five times. So the moment Maharaga spawned, he was immediately immune to it. Even if Megumi gets saved, this man Sakuna turned that nigga into D Rose. He is never boxing Dang, again. Gojo sees this, but he tees up anyway. And then Gojo's like, I, right, I'm gonna wipe this nigga out in one blow. He tries to open his domain and gets hit with the Master Roshi nosebleed. And no, it's not because Utahime is out here shaking ass. I wish to. <laughs> this man actually cannot open his domain anymore. Sakuna's out here crying. He already got the Rip Bozo on the t-shirt. He's ready to get active. Only for this man's eyes to actually start bleeding. Because he can't do anything either. And then Gojo's like, all right, my students are watching. I got to tee up. And when he means tee up, he means tee up. Because he starts with the cleanest right strike I've ever seen in a manga since Yusuke, nigga. And for two straight chapters, they start brawling. I mean, duking this shit out. Gojo hits a beam straight at him only for Sakuna to weave out the way. Sakuna darts back only to get snuck and Gojo proceeds to up the beam at his face. Sakuna blocks it, but the beam makes a full lap around the building and backdoors Sakuna. And then Gojo rocks the shit out of him. And look at him! I know his brain is on straight repeat right now like the cha-cha slide talking about some... Oh no, my man got smoked! And then once Sakuna took the biggest L in this entire fight, Maharaga again appears. Sakuna admits that he's getting cooked and he decides to do the or reliable, the Jujutsu Kaisen jumping. And as much as I hate, even I cannot hit on this because they are moving with such elegance. Like the zone coverage Sakuna's doing for Maharaga to sneak him, Sakuna taking advantage of the play he just made. This is beautiful works. Before they could even cook as a two v1 so kuna's like uh yeah. i'm not finished and he spawns another one ajito for the three v one i'm telling you this jumping business is going way too far gun to the back of your head name five jk vice that don't involve jumping you're dying you're literally dying gojo's getting jumped by the three of them and he tries to formulate a plan to take out ajito because he's allowing sakuna to heal while he formulates his plan maharaga slices gojo's arm off the slash mm. so strong it slashes the building in the back and keep that in mind because it's gonna come up later and these three actually start jumping this nigga crazy like yo look at this while they boxing gojo looks at ajito he's like i'm not gonna lie you weak as hell get your weak ass on and not only that he obliterates that nigga with a blue at max output too i know little bro did not deserve that at all because even sakuna knows if he makes purple it's over this man's biggest op literally uses a coloring book as his moveset y'all niggas are garbage <laughs> put me in that bitch i'll show you that niggas nothing but they got my man gojo looking i see like this right here god damn i'll be grabbing every single tight black shirt in my closet i have never seen a nigga this sexy <laughs> No pause, resume. Cause Gojo makes a purple, and before he makes a purple, he drops this. Sakuna, the only reason you were the strongest sorcerer in history is simply because I was not born yet. Purple, and that shit booms the entire area. It leaves Sakuna with nothing. No Maharaga, no Ajito, no curse technique, no domain, no bitches, no money, no family, nothing! They end the chapter and they say Gojo has won the battle until I turned the page. And then I saw Gojo out here talking to Ghetto backstage at a Juice World concert. Nigga, what? That's right. Sometimes you gotta sit back and observe. Not everything needs a reaction. That's what Sakuna was doing this whole fight. He had F your homie Fuck dead playing in his ears the whole Fuck time. He knew this was about to happen. Fuck off screen too? You turned this nigga into Go Joe. And you did this shit off screen? That's crazy as hell, nigga. I cannot let that slide at all. But how he did it was crazy. So we gonna have to dial it back. Like I told y'all, Maharaga is a cheat code ass nigga. The moment you use a technique on him, he's gonna become invulnerable to that shit. How Dang. he usually does it is by altering his cursed energy. And Sakuna was like, Fuck that! 
you gonna make me learn that shit too. He basically forced Mahoraga to learn how to bypass Gojo's infinity without doing it the way he usually does it. Got my man working overtime with no pay, the monster. But basically what Mahoraga did was bypass Gojo's quote unquote spidey sense. Infinity basically works the same way. It only blocks something it perceives as a threat. And by attacking behind Gojo, the infinity won't see it as a threat. Therefore, he could bypass it. Hence why when he took off his arm, the building was sliced in half as well. Yeah, I know that's just some crazy foreshadowing. Tell Frada to take some notes. This allowed Sukuna to take him down. And even though his trash talk at the beginning of the fight was some garbage, his last quote to Gojo was something fierce. He said, as long as space exists, you will be torn apart. Your infinity meant nothing. Like, bro, where was this clean-ass talk at the beginning? Like, Sakuna really one of them niggas that only think of cold shit to say in the shower after it's done. But the fight ends. Gojo's packed up. As usual, Sakuna can't even get a drink without going into another Jujutsu Kaisen jumping. I'm done with these niggas. I'm out. There we go. There we go. Dang. So he was left with one arm? I mean, y'all let me know what happened. You know what I'm saying? Was my man left with one arm, though? You know what I'm saying? But uh, Opal, she look like she gone. I ain't gonna cap. She look like she gone. I ain't gonna lie. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> she gone. She is gone. She in another planet, my guy. I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> but what did y'all think about this, though? It was good. It was interesting. I can't see you. My honey smacks. Your camera cut off. Oh, I thought everybody cut theirs off. It was good. It was interesting. So you quick to turn it off. You, you, see, you see how you is. You see how you... No, I thought everybody else turned theirs off for real. I can't see nobody else's but mine and yours. Oh, okay. But everybody camera on. You feel oh, me? Okay. But y'all hit that light, hit that saw, man. You know, follow these ladies, man. Y'all, though. Dang. Okay.